Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, March 10th. These are the daily energies. This may, you know, have res this may resonate a few days before or a few days after. There may be some tension today, some sort of tension, conflict. We don't do reversals in the daily vibes and all my other readings I do, it's just not the daily vibes. I think somebody doesn't want to hear the truth. You know, I do. I think that somebody doesn't want to hear the truth. And I'm not sure if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. But it appears that somebody is playing games. They, you know, they, they look all great on the outside. Something looks really good on the outside, but on the inside it's not as great. Okay. Or, you know, they're putting on a show. Somebody is absolutely putting on a show, and I feel like the truth could come out. There could be some sort of challenge today that um, cuts to the chase, okay? I feel like somebody has been... Um, pretending in some situations somebody has been pretending that they are all that they are but they aren't you know that's what it appears to me I think whatever this tension is that's going on could be conflict within your mind or um, external conflicts. There is some tension and conflicts around you that is causing you to want to retreat, to be alone, to think about this, to focus, okay? I think that there is some sort of I think it's truth. There's some kind of hidden truth, okay? And I feel like somebody knows what this truth is, and they are hiding the truth. I don't know where this is coming from, but somebody is hiding the truth. And it appears that they're, they're very cunning. This person is very, very cunning. Um, and they're very creative, okay? They're very creative with the way that they project themselves the way they they pretend that everything is great this person is pretending that this illusion leads to wish fulfillment somebody this is a false beginning somebody is not being honest here And it's going to cause a disaster unless you unless you own up to it. Okay, there's some sort of disaster or upheaval on the right on the horizon. Okay, because it feels like this truth is going to come out that somebody has not been been telling the truth. Somebody has uh, been playing games, and I feel like you know somebody was 
pretending that they were happy, pretending that their wishes were fulfilled when they it was really they were really confused and it was an illusion. Okay, they were just they were doing that on the surface, but on the inside that wasn't the case. Do you know what I mean? Um, <coughs> let me get this zoomed in. <laughs> I feel like somebody has taken the time to really step back and focus on the situation and to see it for what it is. That's what's happened here with that hermit card. I think that somebody has really taken the time to really look deeper into this situation because there's been so much tension. There's been so many conflicts. It's like, what is going on here? And because they've taken the time to really get to the root of the problem and figure out what's going on, they now see the truth and they may communicate that they see the truth, that this was really an illusion and it may cause some sort of upset for the people involved. Well, now we're dealing with um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have Virgo here. We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. But we have Scorpio a couple of times. Um, so anyway, it, it just appears to me that there's some truth that is going to come out or it has come out recently that causes a major shakeup because there was something false. I mean, I said there was a false beginning here, but this is also a false foundation. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. Okay. And I feel as though they were pretending that, yeah, this is great. This is awesome. I'm so happy. And everything is good. And this other person is like, no, everything's not good. I can I can probably cut this tension with a knife. Something is up. And, and you're telling me everything's good. This something isn't right here. So I think this other person has used their their intuition to figure this out. They're like, no. And they've used other more than their intuition. They've used their their skills. You, you know, their investigative skills, whether they're inner or outer. I mean, they've used their skills and taking the time to figure out what this is. And now that they know, they're sure, I think they could be communicating. I think they've observed long enough. I've sat back and watched this game you are playing for long enough. And now I think it's time for it to come out. I think that, you know, that the bringer of this news could be a water sign. <laughs> I feel as though there's been a lot of trials and challenges that have led up to this, led up to this realization that this is just a game, okay? Something has just been a game. Somebody has been wanting attention um, instead of really putting in effort. I feel like there's, there's somebody that you're dealing with that has, was just looking for attention and they didn't want to be alone. Maybe they were lonely and you gave them the attention and now they're playing games with you. Something like that. You know, it, they're, they're not telling you the truth. Somebody is not telling the truth here. And I feel like you know, these both came out reverse, but I, I flipped them. But I can tell you what they mean. I'm going to give you both. Well, I'm going to tell you what I see. I see that somebody is probably getting ready to give up on a situation that was fake. Okay? I feel like there was a fake scenario. Somebody was playing games. They weren't telling the truth. And the other person has taken the time to figure this out. And now, you know, they, they, they don't want to do this anymore. It's like, you know what? No, I don't want to, I don't want to fight for something on my own. I don't want to do this by myself. Okay, I don't need this unnecessary drama in my life. I don't need to be a part of this. And I feel like somebody is thinking, you know what, I think I, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to start and build a, a firm foundation elsewhere where things are real. Yeah, there's some sort of loss on the horizon. And I think that it's, it's you know... I think that it's time to focus on a new direction instead of staying stuck somewhere where it seems like there's no growth, like there's no, it's not easy, put it that way. It's, it's like the emotions are running wild.
I think there's a lot of uh, regrets. Oh, could have to do with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Both sides. So there, there's some a lot of regrets. I think there's there's uh, probably regrets over a loss of somebody that perhaps was a soulmate connection. Because this is a soulmate connection. doesn't matter what sign it is. Okay, there's a soulmate connection here. And somebody is probably regretting the loss of this person. And they probably got involved with somebody else that after this loss, after this loss, and this person has been a complete fake. And now they're, they've come to the realization that they can't play this game with this fake person anymore. And they're regretting the loss of this other person because it was stable and secure. They're regretting the loss of the stable, secure connection as they have been dealing with somebody who is fake now. You know, that's what I see. And I feel like there's some sort of upheaval on the horizon because the truth comes out. And it feels as though somebody is going to be moving away. They're gonna be moving away from a situation, leaving it behind. Because they're ready for a new path. They're ready for a new new partnership. They can't... I can't put work into something that isn't stable and secure. And I think that some of you may be considering moving to a, a better destination that is more stable and secure. We have a lot of stable and security wanted here. I'm looking for stability and security and realness. And I feel like somebody has been dealing with somebody who is com a complete fake. And the other person has come to the realization that this is, was all uh, an illusion. And they're wanting to put their effort in something else. And perhaps they're thinking about a person that, from their past, that they regret walking away from. I'm just telling you what I see. Or well, I see these regrets. I do see these regrets, so I can't say that I don't. I can't say there's regrets over something not working out. Now, whether you're regretting leaving somebody and the grass not being greener on the other side that you know this is for hundreds and thousands of people it won't resonate with everybody some of you are just considering moving away from something that has caused a major loss and a lot of regrets and you've taken the time to really think about this and get to the bottom of it it feels like you just want peace and harmony. I want peace and harmony and truthfulness and honesty and stability and security and equal amount of, you need to be able to put in equally to this relationship. And it feels like you're dealing with somebody who wasn't putting in equal amounts of effort. And many of you are feeling quite trapped in a situation. And the time is now to take action. I need to take action to free myself from this. This is too much. So I feel as though today is a day where you are still contemplating on what the next step is. It is a day of contemplation. Where perhaps, and, and maybe you're actually going to take action because the time is now. And you've got that sword there. And it's like, you know what, maybe you just, in this tower, there's some sort of upheaval 
that could come into play today because the truth comes out. The tension breaks. Somebody speaks up. And it causes a loss. And maybe that's where the regret's from. Regrets that you even went down that road in the first place. I feel as though there is a new opportunity, a new path to go down, and that many of you are considering going down a more stable, secure path. So I feel like today is, is a day of coming to terms with a situation that was untrue and speaking up, okay? It's about doing what's right for you, not letting it be a facade anymore. No, no. We're not going to be fake here. We're going to be real because I see a lot of realness with these pentacles. Pentacles is very grounded reality. So I feel as though, you know, somebody is going to give somebody else a reality check. That's what it looks like to me. And it might not be pretty with a tower card. But it needs to happen. This is what's been going on. Study. Somebody has been sitting back and watching. And that's what's happened. And now they've come to the conclusion. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. And this, I don't think this is about schooling. I don't. I think this is about somebody who took the time to step back and observe the other person, somebody that they're dealing with. They've taken the time to step back and observe. And they've come to the conclusion that this person is playing games. They're not telling the truth. They're faking wish fulfillment. They're faking happiness. You're not really happy. And it looks to me like it comes out. It might come out with a boom. All right. Something could come out with a boom. And the thing is, it's a blessing in disguise because you're looking for security and stability, right? So, you know, it's not the message I want to provide. But it's the message that I have. I feel like your hard work, studying, your hard work, studying this situation has paid off. That's what I have for today. Talk to you later.